Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to show you something really cool, which is a Jira bug tracking system. It is the most popular bug tracking system in the entire world, I would say, but I know for sure that it is in the United States, and that's where we are located. So uh, here it is. At the, at the middle of the screen, you're going to see four columns. First one is a backlog, then in progress, QA, and released. These are statuses of your tickets uh and the backlog is basically for the uh it's like a storage or that's where we stack our bugs or tickets uh and when, whenever a developer is ready he would pull it into uh in progress column and then we'll start working on it whenever uh, he's done he would push it to uk environment and also would move the ticket to qa column and from here you as the qa engineer would pick it up and then uh, test it, and then whenever you're done test testing, uh, and your developer ha has pushed it to production, you move it to released. That would mean it's already in production and the bug was fixed. Uh, but for the reason of sakeness, we're gonna move it back here. And there are two types of um, bug, well, two types of tickets that we're going to use mostly. It is a bug. And it is a task, as you see. Task would, for example, it's a create post registration API. I'm gonna click on it and see what's inside, accepting criteria, uh, which you're going to use to create a test cases. Uh, also, you see a status here that you can change. It's the same thing as moving a ticket from here to here. So you can do it through the status uh, drop down. Assigning a reporter, so who a reporter is who created a ticket, assigning who's going to work on it. Uh, so that's for a task for bugs. Let's click on it and see. We have a short description, uh, and uh, by short description, I meant the actual title. And here's the actual description where I put my steps to reproduce, actual result, and expected result. Um, same thing here except we can also add the environment, but in our case, we're not gonna use it. So let's close it. And how you create it is very simple. Right here, you click on a plus button, and then you can choose a project. In our case, it's only one. And also you can choose a issue type, which in most cases would be a bug, task, a story, or epic. I'm sorry, it's a, it's a tick, ticket type, not an issue type. Um, so tasks are tasks for a developer and this is a good example to create something and a bug is for actual bug. Um, this is pretty much it. What do you need to know for the beginning? That's how any uh, Jira would look like. Once again, it is all configurable. So those words might change and most likely they will change from company to company, but the structure will be the same. Thank you for your time. Please create me a couple of bugs. Have fun, guys.